when I think about super AI and uh, so on, I, I couldn't help but thinking about bees because uh, I'm a beekeeper since about seven years. And uh, beehives, they, they, they live in a community that's uh, often described as a super organism because they, they, are, they have a collective decision-making that is subconscious, basically. It's not subconsciously. They, are, they have, obviously, ways to communicate, but it's, it's a super fantastic and uh, inspiring um, uh, in, in complex society. And what's interesting, what we can learn from, from the super organisms like uh, a beehive is that uh, their ultimate goal or their continuous goal, you could say, is to survive and uh, to survive as a species. And they have done so for 50 million years. And part of that is because they don't focus so much on the individual in the, org uh, in the society. I mean, if, if even the bee, bee queen, if she is not producing enough uh, bees or if she is injured and so on, she won't be able to produce as many bees, they, she, they will actually kill her. Uh, which is harsh, <laughs> harsh reality, but it's something to learn from that uh, they, they have a collective uh, intelligence that is fantastic because it's that what we can learn from that is the way they communicate with each other. That I think a lot of uh, challenges we have today in the, in the world is because we are not communicating uh, in, uh, enough with each other. We don't understand each other. We're basically on different wavelengths and we have uh, different um, levels of uh, knowledge. But if we have an AI that is working in the way that you and I hope it will, perhaps it could be an, an helpful for us uh, to communicate in a way that uh, reaches a level of uh, consciousness that is more sort of a collective uh, way of um, approaching problems and understanding problems. Uh, well, I mean, this is very abstract, obviously, but uh, what do you think about this? Uh it's a very interesting collection of uh, ideas. Now, when I personally try to imagine the future, I think it's very, very difficult to imagine what it would mean to give up on, on your individuality uh, in this way and serve uh, as part of a larger organism. I'm not saying that, that uh, such a future is impossible or even unlikely. I'm just saying that uh, it's, uh, it's very difficult to, to imagine it uh, on, a, on a level where I can make up my mind on whether this is a desirable way to go yeah. or not. No, no. And, uh, and, and uh, sorry. Hmm? Yeah, if you watched uh, Star Trek, uh, they have this uh, uh, Borg uh, society, which is uh, perceived as very, very threatening which, uh, which uh, is this kind of uh, collective consciousness that, that wants to absorb or all other societies. And, and uh, in Star Trek, that is depicted as uh, something very, very threatening and uh, dangerous. But I don't want to rule out the, the possibility that maybe this will be our nirvana or something. Yes. And, and that, but I, and I, I obviously want to pick part of it. I'm not saying we should have give up all our individual uh, characteristics and so on, but at least having this, what's, what's positive with this and fantastic, inspiring to me is the way they communicate. So everyone knows, or it's sort of like having a software update continuously all the time. So if, if a bee discovers a new uh, source of, uh, of food, uh, of nectar, for example, a place, uh, a great, it will come back and it will dance. And, and the, the level of intensity that the, the different bees have, the most intense it is, it is able to convince the other, others in the hive that this is the best way, the best source, the biggest uh, uh, source of nectar. And everyone will know this. They're sort of updated to, to update 1.1. <laughs> and everyone knows that this is the best place to go. Uh, so in that way, it's sort of fantastic, I think. Uh, and it's uh, uh, maybe that kind of uh, information exchange uh, could be the future. If you think about Neuralink and so on, if you think about this, that perhaps we could no. uh, have an, you know, a mail each morning updated with the new information that everybody else gets as well. Um, that's I <laughs> think this, uh, this insect analogy, the bee analogy is very fascinating. And, and uh, I've long been intrigued by this idea that asking what it's like to be 
uh, a B is maybe the wrong question, yeah. but it's a more relevant question to ask, what is it like to be this society of, of bees? Yes. Suggesting that uh, uh, to achieve intelligence uh, uh, and uh, even consciousness doesn't necessarily require physical connectedness. You can have a, a coherent system giving rise to consciousness without being uh, physically uh, constrained to a small space like uh, our skulls, but mm. can even be yeah. disconnected like a swarm of bees. Yeah. I, I think that's a really cool idea. I don't know what we can do with it, but uh, it's, uh, it's something yeah. worth uh, yeah. pursuing further. I throw it out there. Perhaps someone else picks it up and knows something about it. It's all about sharing information and, and, and uh, experience and knowledge and, and inspiration. That's all Evolution Show is all about. <laughs>